Shalom, Shalom. Just back at you with another quick hit. I want to give all the honors, the praises, and the glory. Belongs to my Lord and Savior, whose name is Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Mahava, Kaakwadash. The name of the Heavenly Father is Yahweh, and His Son's name is Yahweh Shai, in who I reverence and honors to the apostles that are in the Holy Spirit and to the hopeful elect across the globe and to the few, the very few brothers and sisters listening and also listening across the globe and to the few brothers like and to the apostles that are in the Holy Spirit <laughs> and to the hopeful elect across the globe right um this lesson exhortation we need to do them exhortations as well we're going to start from Ecclesiasticus chapter 5 this ain't going to be a long one 5 and 7 make no tarrying to turn to the Lord Jehovah Shai so we don't want to we don't want to make no tarrying to do that. Make no tarrying. Tarrying is delay. We don't want to delay turning to the Lord Yahweh Shai. Okay. And put not off from day to day. Right. And put not off from day to day. So every single day was supposed to be attentive to the Lord's call, to his voice. For suddenly shall the wrath of the Lord Yahweh Shai come forth. All of a sudden, when we least expect it. That's why it says, put not off from day to day. Okay. For suddenly, shall wrath for the Lord come forth. All of a sudden. We don't know. And that's why we, can't, we cannot put off the Lord from day to day. And it says, check this out. For suddenly, shall the wrath for the Lord come, come forth. It's all of a sudden. When we're least expecting so we don't we don't want to put off that day okay and it says this Bible Kishore and in that security that shall be destroyed so when we're secure when we think we're secure that's when you'll be destroyed we cannot put off the Lord from day to day right this is how serious this is in that security that shall be destroyed and perish in the day of vengeance so you might say, oh, no, I'll just leave it today. Just leave it for another day. Then another day becomes two days. And the next thing is into a week. The next thing is two weeks and you ain't done anything. We don't want to get to that point. Because it says, then shall our wrath come. In our security. And this whole society, it gives us a full sense of security. In our security, that shall be destroyed. Too much comfortability is not good. Okay, and it, and it makes you weak as well, right? And perish in the day of vengeance. So, this is what we gotta keep in mind. And set not thy heart upon goods unjustly gotten, for they shall not profit thee in the day of calamity. Yeah, you may have certain goods, certain merchandise, but it's not gonna profit you in that day of calamity, in that day of judgment. Okay, win or not, whether you win. And go not in every way, for so doth the sinner that have a double tongue. Be steadfast in that, in, in that understanding and let thy word be the same. Quickly going to go to Thessalonians, Baba Kisha. Let's go. The Lord wants us to be attentive to his call. Let's see if I can find this. Thessalonians. lucky I'm having a bit of trouble finding this right now wait just a minute hold on just a minute we've got Thessalonians hold on just a minute come on you know I can't find it right now but it talks about in Thessalonians Oh, here it is, here it is. This is Thessalonians. Okay. Five. And jump straight to verse five. Hey, fifth chapter. But other times and seasons, you have no need. Right? You have no need that I write unto you. For yourselves know perfectly. Right? 
that the day of the Lord, Yahweh Shai, so cometh as a thief in the night, unexpectedly. Right? So for when they shall say peace and safety, that's comfortability. Too much comfortability is not good. It makes you weak. It makes you docile. Right? And that's how they want people to be. Comfortable. And it says, then sudden destruction cometh upon them. Okay. As travail. Okay. Upon a woman. With child. And they shall not escape. So we don't want to be too comfortable. That's why it's good when we go through certain scenarios. The Lord doesn't want us to be in that. Where you're too comfortable. Every, every, everything's, everything's too good. Everything's too good, too neat. That's where the afflictions come in. Okay. We have to be occupied on this work. I don't say, oh, I'll leave it. I'll leave it to another day. No, 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 no. Do as much. Do, do, do what you can. Right. Yeah, I know we're not going to be perfect. We're going to have shortcomings and all that, but that's not excuse. That's not an excuse to not fulfil our duties. Okay, we have to fulfil our duties, and the more you're in this world, the more efficient you be, the more protection there is, and the more inspiration you have, and the more your faith would grow. All right, let me see if I can find anything else on this. Um. Go to Ecclesiastes 22. The slothful man is compared to a filthy stone. Everyone will hiss him out to his disgrace. So you get you you get hissed out to your disgrace. Yeah, this man, like a filthy... Nobody wants to pick up a filthy stone. We don't want to be slothful. Right? We don't want to be slothful in this work. Right? Ecclesiastes 20. These are just scriptures to exhort the brethren to continue in this faith. Okay? Ecclesiastes 20 and jump straight to verse 30. Wisdom that is hid and treasure that is hoarded up. What profit is in them both? There's no profit into treasure and wisdom that's hoarded up, that's not out there, that's not spread, that's not known. Right? It's like you having a treasure, but you don't take that treasure out, you leave that treasure wherever it is. Verse 31 Better is he that hideth his folly, his foolishness. Man, a man that hideth his wisdom. So it's better that you hide your foolishness than better as a man that hideth his foolishness than a man that has wisdom and hides his wisdom. Why? Because everybody knows that man is wise, but therefore you're hiding it. So it's not therefore it's it's like you're a fool. You be like unto the foolish man. Because people see you have that wisdom, but you're not you're not you're not doing anything with it. That's why it says better is a man that is foolish and hideth his folly. Because you wouldn't know he's a fool. Right? And necessary patience in seeking the Lord, Jehovah Shai, is better than he that leadeth his life without a guide. Necess so, with this as well, also use patience. Make sure we're applying patience as well in this walk of faith. Right? These are just exhortational scriptures. I'm just, I'm just flaming the spirit. I'm just flaming the spirit. Right? See what we can get. See what we can get. See what we can get. Right, yeah, put your all in because um, none of us want to be in it. Oh, I wish I, I wish I would have done more. I wish I would have done more. I wish I would have. We don't want to be in that spirit. We want to make sure at least I can say I've done everything I could to the best of my ability to make my calling and election sure. I've done everything I could, you know, everything. Okay, so where else should we go, baby? Just a minute. Um. Just concerning on keep going, keep pushing this word. Let's see what else we can find. Let's see what else we can find. Mm. Okay, let's go. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Mm. We got something in Revelations as well. Okay. Up certain in Revelations. Revelations three. This is Revelations three. All right. 
and jump straight to concerning being not being lukewarm. You want Revelation 3 because they are lukewarm. This is Revelation 3 and 14. And it says, Unto the angel of the church of Laodiceans, write these things, saith Amon, the faithful and true witness, the beginning of creation of the power. I know thy works are, are neither cold nor hot. I would thou were cold or hot. The Lord loves you one or the other. You're either full in, hot for this truth, or you're cold, you're out. You're just out in the world. So Yahusha knows our workings. Okay. So then because they are lukewarm, okay, key thing, lukewarm, you're just in the middle. And neither cold nor hot, I will spew thee out of thy mouth. Why? Because you're not one or the other. So the scripture says, I will spew thee out of my mouth. And nobody likes hot Guinnesses or hot bears. You're going to spew that out of your mouth, right? So the Lord wants us to be full on. He doesn't want us to be lukewarm. He doesn't want us to be in the middle. He wants us to be all in for this truth. Nobody likes a, a, a lukewarm bear or lager. You spit that out. That's why it says, I was spewed out of my mouth. So we don't want to get spewed out. We want to be desirable to Yahweh by Shem All right. And it says, because thou sayest, I am rich and I am increased with goods and have need of nothing so we don't want to get too comfortable within this walk and know us that are wretched and miserable and poor and blind and naked that's how we were before, prior to waking up to this truth I counsel thee to buy me of gold tried in the fire but thou mayest be rich and in white raiment and thou mayest be clothed and that the shame of thy nakedness doth not appear okay and anoint their eyes with eyes of that they may, may see. Okay. As many as I love, I rebuke and chasten. Therefore, be zealous, therefore, and repent. Therefore, we have to be, yes, zealous. And also, we have to repent as well. While being zealous, we, we repent and make them adjustments. All right. And it says, Baba Kishar, where was I? And counseled to buy me of gold, tried in the fire, that they may be rich. Okay. And white raiment, that they're clothing. Okay. And thou remainest. So, the whole thing is enduring. Putting in the effort and exhorting brothers to continue in this faith. Yeah, things are getting harder now. Because <sighs> Yahweh Shai's return is near. Okay. So yeah, things are things are gonna be turning up because Yahweh is near. Okay. So that's the exhort ex exhortational scripture. Let's see what else we got. Let's see what else we got. Let's see what else we got. It's all about motivating each other as well. This is Second Corinthians thirteen and five. Examine yourselves whether you be in the faith. So constant examination. Right, and the examining begins with ourselves first. Right, examine yourselves wherever you be in the faith. Right, scrutinize yourself. Right, prove your own self. So we got to prove ourselves. Right, test yourself. It says, Baba Kishar, ye know not your own selves. Know you not your own self. Don't you know your own self? How that you have a shy Mashiach is in you. Except key thing except ye be reprobates what's a reprobate a reprobate is someone that's void of um judgment that's a reprobate except ye be void of judgment all right and we don't want to be reprobates a, a reprobate is a reject, one that's rejected from um, Yahabashai. We don't want to be rejected. We want Yahabashai to continue to deal with us. But I trust that you shall, that you shall know that we are not reprobates. Right? So we're not, and Paul was saying that we're not, we're not reprobates. We're not void of judgment. Okay? Now I pray to the Heavenly Father that you do well. Right? But you do know evil that not we should appear approved. 
But I trust that you should know that we are not reprobates. Okay. Come on. Let's see what else we got. Baba Kisha, Baba Kisha. So we are not reprobates. Okay. Continue to exhort each other. Yeah. See what else we got. See what else we got. Yeah. Nobody said this would be easy. So we got Thessalonians, check this out. This is Thessalonians 5. And jump straight 12. And beseech you, brethren, to know them which labor among you. So we got another brothers that are laboring amongst us as well. Right? And are over you in the Lord and admonish you. Yeah, we still got men that are over us in the Lord. I don't know who they are. I don't know everyone who they are, you know. Some are saying it's your elders, other brothers as well. It's all according to the spirit. Because you could have a man. That's younger than you, and that's over you in the spirit. You see what I'm saying? Okay. And esteem them very highly in love for their work's sake, and be at peace among yourselves. Now we exhort you, brethren, warn them that are unruly, comfort the feeble minded, support the weak. So you have brothers that are slightly more weak, you support them in the faith. Be patient towards all men. So we also want to be patient towards all men within this truth. Patience. Right? And a brother might not know Daniel 7. Bro, I've seen all, all the tests. Them tests, they are good to a certain extent. But I've seen that. Oh, well, we're doing this test. We're doing that test. It's the scriptures. Be patient. Be patient towards all men. Okay. And it says, Baba Kishar, check this out. Support, see that none render evil for evil unto any man. Don't be rendering evil towards your brother. But ever follow that which is good. So we want to follow that which is good. Serving Yahweh Shai. Right? Both among yourselves and to all men. Rejoice evermore. Pray without ceasing. So Paul was giving you the things to do for this battle. Pray without ceasing. Constantly. In everything, give thanks as well. Make sure you're giving thanks. So pray without ceasing. Give thanks to Yahweh Shai, Baba Kasha, for this is the will of the Heavenly Father, Imashiach, concerning you. That's, a, that's his will. Despise not, um, quench not the spirit. So if you have those right, they may not be fervent. You don't quench your spirit because you see another man, he's not really pulling his weight. Don't quench your spirit because of that. It says, it says quench not the spirit So you don't quench the spirit Because somebody else wants to be lukewarm And they don't want to pull their weight around Quench not the spirit Despise not prophesying So don't even prophecy Prophecy is the highest um, Lot um, To be a prophet That's the, that's the highest Because the prophets were They were over the kings and the nations It was said to you what Jeremiah I've set thee over the nations and so forth Okay, and it says, Baba Kasha, prove all things. Okay, <coughs> how do we prove all things through these scriptures? Hold fast to that which is good. So, we also want to hold fast to which is good, which is the truth. Okay, abstain from all appearance of evil. So, that's what we want to do as well. Make sure we're abstaining from all appearances of evil. And that's hard because we're living in an evil world, so evils are all around us. But we've got to abstain, uh, stay away from that to the best of our ability. Right? These are the tips. Uh, final exhortations and very God of peace. Well, verse 23, the very God of peace sanctify you, Wally. And I pray to the Heavenly Father, your whole spirit and soul and body be preserved blameless. Right? Unto the coming of our Lord, Yahweh Mashiach. Faithful is he that calleth you. And he will also do it. Brethren, pray for us. Greet all the brethren with a holy kiss. And there's nothing wrong about that. You would, that's an ancient Middle East custom that we would we give each other a, a holy, basically a holy kiss on the cheek. I charge you by the Lord, Jehovah Shai, that 
this epistle might be read unto all the holy brethren. So this is an important epistle that I'm reading right now. The grace of our Lord Jehovah Shammashat be with you, Aman. Alright. And see if there's anything else. Is there anything else? Baba Kasha. Yeah, continue. You know, this one to chapter, another chapter. Now we won't go to that. This is all based on, on exhortation. Right? What we need to do to keep to keep moving forward and not backward. Right? So what else have we got? What else have we got? Um we got Corinthians 12, actually 13. Though I speak with the tongues, you know what start at? Yeah, yeah, start at the top. All right? Go to verse. Oh, there's a lot here. There's a lot here. There's a lot here. Let's go to verse 28. And the Heavenly Father have set some in the church. First, apostles. Apostles means sent out. Secondly, prophets. So you have the prophets as well. And thirdly, Teachers, so you got prophets and you got teachers. After that, miracles, then gifts of healings, helps, governments, the diversities of tongues. So you have teachers, you have prophets. The prophets are the first, right? Which means to prophesy, to say before. Thirdly, teachers. After that, miracles, then gifts of healings, helps, governments, diversities of tongues. Um, are all apostles, are all prophets, are all teachers, are all workers of miracles, the answers now. They have their they have their position. Have all the gifts of healing, do all speak with tongues, do all interpret, but COVID earnestly the best gifts, so the best gifts, the highest gift, and yet I will show you more an excellent way. So um the best gift is what? The best gift is prophecy. To prophesy. If that's the gift you've been having. And though I speak with the tongues of men and of angels and have not charity, I become like a sounding brass or tinkling cymbal. So you may have a lot of knowledge and wisdom, but though you have not charity, in other words, you're just making noise. What does a cymbal and brass do? It makes a lot of noise. Right? And though I have the gift of prophecy, understanding of all mysteries and all knowledge, and though I have all faith, right? So I can could remove mountains. And have not charity, I am nothing. Whew. So you can know the mysteries and have certain amount of knowledge, have faith. Though you don't have charity, you're seen as nothing. And though I bestow all my goods to feed the poor, and though I give my body to be burnt and have not charity, it profiteth me nothing. Right? Charity suffereth long and is kind. Right? So it's giving you the attributes as well. Charity. Right? Envy if not. Charity vaunt if not itself. So there's no envy within charity. And it says vaunt if itself not. It is not puffed up. So there's no pride within charity. It does not behave itself unseemly. Seek of not her own. It's not easily provoked. So charity is not easily provoked as well. Think if no evil, okay. Rejoice not in iniquity, but rejoice if in the truth. Beareth all things, okay. Believeth all things, right. Hopeth all things, endureth all things. All these are the attributes. Charity never faileth, right. But whether they be prophecies, they shall fail once they're done. Whether they be tongues, they shall cease. Right? Because we're all going to learn the Hebrew within the kingdom. Whether they be knowledge, it shall vanish away. The knowledge of this one. For we know in part. So certain things we, we do know. But it says, in part. So there's a measure to everything we know as well. There's a measure, limitations, right? But we know in parts, and we prophesy in part as well. So yeah, we're also prophesying in part. But when that which is perfect is come, then which is part is in part shall be done, right? Be done away, all right? And that's his full entirety because then the prophecies are they're going to play out. In full time 
Okay. So with this, I'm going to shut off here. Lord willing, this was edifying. And until the next time, shalom.